In this video, we provide a simple introduction to databases and relational databases. So first of all, let's answer the question, what exactly is a database? Well, it's a structured and persistent collection of data. And it's these words structured and persistent which is important. When handling large sets of data, Databases have several advantages. They make the processing of the data more efficient. It reduces the storage requirements for the data, and it can help if done correctly to avoid redundancy, which is something we're going to be taking a look at later. There are two main types or categories of databases you need to be aware of. What are called single table databases or flat file databases and relational databases. So flat file databases versus relational. Let's start with flat file or single table databases. This is where all the information is stored in just one table. For example, as shown here on the right. These are very inefficient for a number of reasons, especially as the data set grows larger. It can be difficult to query as the data is all consumed in one table. This means it's used typically for only very small or trivial data sets. Now we mentioned earlier that it's quite inefficient. One of these reasons is data is often duplicated in a flat file database. You can see here that each student in this database is being replicated three times along with the date of birth and their gender because they're partaking in multiple courses. This also means flat file databases can suffer from inconsistencies between different records. Should one of the students change their surname, you'd have to make sure to change it in multiple locations. And of course, this means the integrity of the data can become compromised, meaning it's not consistent anymore. Now, to get over this, we have what are called relational databases. These contain more than one table, which are somehow related or joined together. We've got the same situation down the bottom here that we just had, but you can see we've split out the students and their information from the courses and the course information from the lecturers and their information. There are now links that join or relate these tables together. Updating the person who lectures computer science, for example, would update it for all students who take this course. This is one of the most essential concepts that you need to get your head around with relational databases for the GCSE. A relational database eliminates data inconsistency and also duplicate or redundant data. Now we're going to look a little bit more detailed at the concepts of relational databases in the next video. So it's not specifically mentioned in the spec, but it's worth just mentioning what a database management piece of software is, as some people often get confused and think they're the same as a database. The database is the actual structured data. It's managed often by an additional layer of software on top called the database management system or DBMS. You may be used to using one of these at school called Access. It's part of the Microsoft suite and it's a database management system that allows you to interact with databases. It provides a manipulation language to access and change the data called SQL. And this is the focus of some videos later in this topic. We provide integrity to ensure efficiency and structure is not compromised. It adds a layer of additional security. It gives users typically an interface for other programs to access and use the data. And the program and data now becomes what we call independent of each other. So just a quick recap then. Databases are structured persistent collections of data. When handling large related data sets, a database makes processing more efficient, reduces storage requirements and avoids redundancies. They come in two main types. Flat file databases consist of just one table, which is very inefficient. They're difficult to query and only tend to be used for small or trivial data sets. 
data is often duplicated, which means they can easily suffer from inconsistencies between multiple records when they get updated. Relational databases consist of more than one table which are related together. If designed well, they eliminate data inconsistency and avoid data redundancy. Thank you.